my name's Dylan. And I'm Keon. And welcome to Trust Your Doctor, that podcast where we try and not stab each other with a pair of scissors. Yeah. But no, really, we watch, we're, we, uh, we watch Doctor Who. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Again, is, you know, we, we do that every week. Yep. Surprise. Every week. So this week we watched <laughs> the third serial, Whoa, Surprise, The Edge of Destruction. Yeah, the, the name <laughs> is a lot more interesting than the actual serial was. It's pretty misleading, actually. <laughs> pretty misleading. Um, so, let's see, how did it start? Um, it started with the doctor falling down. <laughs> it started with everyone falling down, yeah. and, and then they woke up, and they were all amnesiacs. And didn't know anything. And then everyone broke character and acted weird. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> one of the, the first time was when Barbara didn't know who the doctor was. Yeah, like, in the beginning, everyone just had amnesia for some reason. They just didn't know who they it's were. Just, and that, that's not even ever explained in the episode. No, it's never, it doesn't even, it's not even a plot point later. It's just they have amnesia in the beginning. I guess maybe they're just groggy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And then they kind of just don't have amnesia later. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> uh, and so they all they all woke up, and the TARDIS was busted. It's busted. It wasn't working, right? Yeah. Yeah. And even after the fluid link was back, <laughs> Mercury and all from from the previous serial. <clears throat> so I don't remember what was happening with the TARDIS, but the first person who seemed to go insane was probably Susan. Yeah, Susan is just, uh, yeah, she's weird. She, yep. She, uh, she tried, tried to, to stab. Yeah, she tried to stab everyone with a <laughs> pair of scissors. <laughs> scissors. And um, Barbara finally being useful, pulling some Sherlock Holmes level deduction. Give me the scissors, Susan. You remember that? Yeah, Susan went to lay down, but she had the scissors, and Barbara was like, what's wrong, Susan? And then Susan went all crazy. And Barbara was like, give me the scissors, Susan. Oh, Before all... Susan had explained they... that she had the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> they they were all wearing Snuggies for this, too. <laughs> Except no. the doctor. The doctor was wearing his, his plaid checkered pants or whatever they yeah, were. Yeah, but Ian, Susan, and uh, Barbara were all wearing Snuggies. <laughs> <laughs> right. I guess they were just robes, but they looked like Snuggies. And... We're explaining this really badly. This is, like, what, all out of order. Happened? <laughs> yeah, basically the first episode of this two-episode serial was just them, like, going at each other. And almost killing each other. And then, did the doctor drugging them happen in the first episode or the second? You know, this whole serial was just <laughs> so strange <laughs> that I just can't even remember. Maybe because we watched it nearly a week ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, the doctor tried to drug everyone because he didn't trust them. And but um, Ian didn't trust the doctor back and didn't drink the drink with the drug in it, so he didn't get drugged. And then he almost strangled the doctor. No, later. he almost strangled Barbara. That was after almost strangling the doctor. Yeah, Ian just starts strangling people. I, I don't know why. <laughs> no, the doctor accuses Ian and Barbara of sabotaging the TARDIS. Yeah. Okay, the whole reason why they're so uh, so suspicious of each other is... Um, I think the Doctor brings this up, but I think that they all think that um, some alien form has... Yeah. Alien life form has infiltrated the TARDIS. And I, I thought that was going to be the, the serial. I thought it was going to be more than two episodes, and then it was going to be about some aliens. And then the second episode was like, Nope! Yeah, the second episode gets into some weird sci-fi techno... Not techno, <laughs> but just sci-fi mumbo-jumbo. <laughs> no, not even! It was like, the entire reason they were there was because of the spring! Okay, uh, but still, the way they got to that conclusion <laughs> was weird. Like, the clock and Barbara the was like... The clock was broken and... Susan and Barbara. Barbara was like, look at the clock. Now look at the controls. What could this all mean? And then she <laughs> figures it out. Well, but first the doctor has them stand by the door because the doors are opening and closing by themselves. <laughs> and we learn the TARDIS <laughs> is alive. Yeah, we learn that the TARDIS has some sort of omniscient presence. It could be listening to us and, right and now. And I learned 
that the doctor got the TARDIS by stealing it. Oh, yeah, I told you that. That wasn't in the episode, <laughs> but I learned it. <laughs> the doctor stole the TARDIS, dude. Um, get away with that. So, yeah, the TARDIS is alive, and it was... Apparently something was wrong with it, and it was trying to tell the group... That they our had intrepid minutes. adventurers, <laughs> our intrepid adventurers, <laughs> which is now a running theme, um, that they have ten minutes. Yeah, and you have uh, ten minutes. Okay, to so they, to save the world. Yeah, the doctor figures out that they have ten minutes before they are all going to die. So, but then told, the clocks start working. No, he tell. Remember, he tells Barbara and Susan to go check the door, and then he like right. he he like confers with Ian. He's like, "We're not gonna make it, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, we're gonna die. <laughs> Ian, Ian, I don't want to tell them. <laughs> we're gonna die, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, just putting it out there, just to you, but uh, we're gonna die. So I mean, all of a sudden the clocks started working again. Is that what happened? I guess. Did you remember? Barbara's like, oh yeah, they took time away from us, but now they're giving it back because <laughs> oh, yeah. we've only got ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, the Doctor is a Time Lord, though. We forgot to mention who wrote this episode, even though we were going to try and do that. Who was it? David Whittaker. Oh. Good job, David Whittaker. <laughs> Good job, David. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, in the end, they find out it, that the whole There's reason... There's forced return switch? I guess... Th- was, were they trying to go back to 63? I guess that's where they were I think so. Do. Which is funny, because I'm just reading now, this episode was broadcast in 64. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they were trying to get back to 63, I guess, because the Doctor had finally figured out where they were in the previous episode. Mm-hmm. So he decided to use the forced return switch, and then the spring got stuck down. So basically the switch was held for too long, and they and went just, back to the beginning of the, the beginning solar of system. Time. I thought it was the beginning, the beginning of, of our... solar system, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because... The way they figured that out was because the control column in the center of the TARDIS moved up, which apparently would require this major magnetic force. It would Or, been... like, if there's power fluctuations, the, like, central column rises with the power, so apparently there was a large magnetic force. Okay, I just want to say this is the most confusing summary of anything <laughs> ever. <laughs> well... Uh, the, it... the episodes were confusing, though, so, uh, yeah... Also, it would have, actually would have been cooler if they went back to the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of time itself. What was the second episode of this called? There was the uh, end of description, uh, and then there was... The Brink of Disaster. Basically the same general <laughs> thing. <laughs> the same general <laughs> theme. <laughs> um... Well, apparently this reviewer described writer David Whittaker as a master of dialogue, characterization, and atmosphere. What? But felt he struggled with plot logic. Yeah, I felt he he definitely struggled with plot logic, and he definitely... Like, maybe the writing was good, but the characters were acting out of character. Yeah, the, the writing was held down by the fact that, yeah, as you mentioned, they were out of character. Yeah. No, I mean... But at the, at the second episode... It definitely ca- at least added more characterization to Barbara. Yeah. Which we've been hoping for for the past two serials. Yeah. So was... good job, David. <laughs> Go, David. <laughs> Write more. At least at least finally using Barbara. Yeah. And then in the end, there was that scene where the doctor went to apologize to Barbara. Do you remember that? Yeah. And because and... they had gone somewhere with snow and the doctor wanted Barbara to come outside with them. The, bo- the doctor finally being a nice guy. Yeah. Um... And then it ended with that dramatic scene. Look, it's a giant footprint in the mm-hmm. snow. It looked mm-hmm. like a regular footprint to me. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, okay. No, that, that never happened in this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so wait, what did the doctor even say to Barbara? He was just like, hey, sorry. And then Barbara was like, it's He's, all right, doctor. I think he said... He tried um, to drug us and probably kill us. He, he said something... He said something along the lines of... <laughs> he said something along the lines... I think that... <laughs> it was something along the lines of... Sorry! Yes! It's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I think Barbara is the only person in this serial who doesn't try to kill everyone else. I think she's also the one who took it the hardest when the doctor accused them 
out of her and Ian, she took it way harder than Ian did when the Doctor accused him of sabotaging the TARDIS. Did she? I mean, Ian was Yeah, like, because at the end of the episode, she was still upset. Whereas at the true. end, Ian was like, yo, man, it's chill. We, we buddies. Yeah, that's probably Word. because he tried to kill everyone, too, so he felt <laughs> bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I mean, we've brought this up so much, but... So far, but just... Why does everyone try and kill each other? Are... I think... This was the explanation I threw out when we were watching it, how... It was probably, maybe originally intended to be an alien force, but then they're like, Oh damn, that doesn't work, we don't have the budget! So they changed <laughs> the second episode with that weird explanation, and they just never went back to explain why everyone was acting out of character. That makes sense. Plus on the Wikipedia page it says, um, a lot of people consider this serial to be just a use of two episodes, just so they yeah. can fill out the series when they didn't... Because they didn't know if it was going to be... Renewed. Renewed. Which makes sense to me and goes with your uh, your idea. Right. Do you remember when we were watching the first episode and we mentioned, what if they just don't explain this? Cause we- yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> we were really confused and we wanted an explanation and then maybe we were thinking they are going to explain it at the end of the episode. And then as a joke, we said, hey, what if they don't explain it? <laughs> and then they didn't. I was like, I'd be actually be okay if they didn't, if they didn't uh, ever... Um, elaborate on what was going on i said that semi-jokingly when we were watching it and in the end i was kind of just like eh (laughs) yeah (laughs) not cool um i don't know sometimes when i'm watching not just doctor who but just anything i think i get too bent up on them trying to explain everything but i think in this case i'm justified (laughs) when i say it's it's not good that they didn't ever elaborate on what they set up <clears throat> Baby, we're being too hard on this episode, having watched the previous no. two serials. No. No, you don't think so? Because uh, I think the previous two serials were better. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're, I just think they were better. I mean... Well, maybe because those took place outside of the TARDIS as well. Yeah, I mean, the inside of the TARDIS isn't that interesting of a locale. <laughs> it's all white. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we assume it's all white. It's black and white, so maybe it's like peach or something. You know what I assume the color scheme is? You know on in Star Wars Episode 2, the planet where it's always raining and where the right, clones are made? Right. I assume it's like those buildings, actually, with like the kind of bluish, I think, pale... I think tent. it is. You, th- you've watched the 10th Doctor, though. They so, completely change it in the oh, reboot. They completely okay. change it. Right. In the reboot, it's, it's orange with these arches and the central column is green. Oh. And it's got all these wires and everything looks like it's about to explode because it is... <laughs> The so TARDIS goes uns- through a lot between the classic series and the <laughs> reboot, apparently. So it looks unsafe in the reboot. Yes. <laughs> you can see all of the wires. But does it ever, like, go go on the fritz? Like yes, it- when the Tenth Doctor regenerates, the entire TARDIS gets basically destroyed and it oh. repels itself. Oh. Which, I just watched that episode, actually, this week. <laughs> Alright, um, it, it looks at least safe in the, uh, in the original yeah, series. Yeah, I think... Whether or not it is, is a totally different question. If we look at pictures from, like, the third, fourth, fifth Doctor, when they still had the same TARDIS, I think it's white as well. Mm-hmm. I think it's the white. What is that planet called? Now it's going to bother me. It, in Star Wars Episode yeah. 2? Was it Genosis? Genesis? No, no, no. Genosis is the, Genosis is the one Genos- at the end. It starts with a... Starts, I want to say it, it starts with a K. No, it's not Naboo. No, no, it's not Naboo. It might be a K. I wanted to say Kashyyyk, but that's the Wookiee <laughs> planet. Why do I know this? <laughs> Um, we have a computer. Oh, are you looking it up? Yes. With one hand. Okay. I wonder if they heard the clicking of the keyboard. Probably. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Uh, Padme, former queen of Naboo, and the Clone Wars, blah, Skip blah, blah, to blah. Obi-Wan travels to blank. <clears throat> Camino. Camino starts with a C or K? K. Oh, okay, yes! <laughs> I get nothing! Using a bounty hunter, Django Fett is the genetic template. Da-na-na. Spoilers. It's not really two. a spoiler. This entire podcast is a spoiler. Yeah, we kind of spoiled some Tenth Doctor stuff. Yeah. <laughs> not really. I didn't spoil any of the storylines, I just. special effects and, and stuff. And the fact that the TARDIS was stolen. That's 
might be a that, little bit of a spoiler. That was never explained in the TV series. That's just part of official canon that oh. BBC declared from okay. one of the comics or books. Oh. Yeah, this series also has a book. Yeah. It uses, it strangely enough, uses the logo for Doctor Who they used for the seventh Doctor. The Daleks have a lot of books. There's well, like, probably because there's a lot of serials with the Daleks. They're the yeah. most used Doctor Who villain. Yeah, but there's like, re- Rise of the Daleks, Revenge of the Daleks. The Dalek invasion of Earth. Yeah. Um. So, special yeah. effects. Special effects? There what like special effects? There was the Besides clock. the central column and the clock. I didn't understand the clock. Like, it looked really weird. It was some it, weird... I think it's just an elaborate clock. Why that... does a Time Lord need a clock? He travels through space and time. Like, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> just because? No so he can know what time it is on Earth? I don't know. He's not from Earth, though. Is he? He's you not. Know, he likes Earth. He likes Earth, but... Susan likes Earth, too. Right. They should just stay on Earth. Instead of putting their lives in danger. <laughs> well, they were going to until Barbara and Ian showed up. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Dang it, Ian and Barbara. Dang it. Why do you have to show up at the most inopportune times? Um, what else did they have special effects on that you said? The, the clock? The central, the, the column. You that went up yeah. and down. Yeah, it was weird. And everyone who approached the central thing just... Got electrocuted? Right? Good job, TARDIS. Good job. Thank, thanks for that. It was still trying to tell them that it was busted. And then there was the computer screen that showed pictures of their previous adventures. Remember that? Yeah. And it kept showing the same sequence or whatever. I don't yeah, know. it was like a planet and then like a, a, solar, a solar system, system and a and galaxy or something. That was how they figured out that they were at the beginning of the solar system, right? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow they, they managed to put two and two together. I would have never been able to. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been there. I don't think there's a pattern, Doctor. <laughs> um, I'm, I like that Barbara did stuff in this serial, right. but it doesn't actually make sense that she figures it out, because she and Ian are, like, new to the TARDIS. They've barely right. been in the TARDIS. And the Doctor and Susan have no idea what's going on, and then Barbara's like, yo, guys, this is what's happening, and the Doctor's like, remember, oh. Do you remember that scene where they're like, there was that fault board that, like, lights up to show where the problem is? Yeah. <laughs> so he was, remember, I he thought was, it was just a wire or something. No, I, I or, thought it was like a board of lights oh, on. Yeah, maybe. When he was talking to Barbara and he's like, do you know what happens if the entire board lights up? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, and then at the end they explained that like, oh yeah, I didn't know where the problem was since it was this faulty spring in the false return switch, so it was yeah. still working correctly. Apparently, you, assumed. apparently they go back in time by holding rewind. <laughs> just, just holding it. <laughs> Uh, that is a bad design, actually. Yeah, they should design it so that they have to get up to eighty-eight before they can time travel. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits eighty-eight, you're gonna see some serious s-word. We're trying not to. We're trying not to swear anymore after that first episode. <laughs> Keon. <laughs> hey, as long as no one notices, we'll be good. Said now you all know since we just pointed it out. Yeah. Oh well. Drink some water. I'm gonna drink some water here. Oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> should we explain this? Should we tell should we tell them what's going on here? My water bottle is holding my pop shield up. <laughs> <laughs> Our sketch recording setup. With Maybe you've noticed that the the the, uh, the recording setup has changed. It's actually been different in all three episodes <laughs> of this podcast so far. The first we're one, experimental renegades. Yeah, we're renegade time lords, if you will. <laughs> like a renegade doctor. podcast lords. <clears throat> I should add that to the website. I'm going to add that to the website. What? We're renegade podcast lords. Oh. That could be the tagline for the podcast we, now. We stole our recording equipment, just like the doctor stole his TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> Except we didn't, okay? We didn't do anything illegal for this. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. <laughs> Sound? I didn't... 
Again, I wasn't paying attention to the incidental music. Same. Even though I have been up until now, I just didn't this time. Maybe it just it didn't add to the plot this time, which is why we we didn't. The only time I noticed it in the previous few serials were those two. Like there was one instance per serial where I noticed it, and I guess because it added to the scene in my in my mind. Right. But then this time there wasn't anything like that really. <clears throat> um. Yeah, there wasn't. It was yeah. Just they. If but, there even was any incidental music. Makes me think that it can't. That music can't really detract, because if it if you don't right. if you don't notice it, then it doesn't really detract. And if you do notice it, unless it's super out of place, just like <laughs> heavy rock play, <laughs> playing during the Dalek uh, ambush, or that like makes sense though. Rock would make sense because the robots rap on the <laughs> other hand. Like, yeah. Can you imagine if the TARDIS transport noise was like heavy metal <laughs> screamo <laughs> instead of <laughs> <laughs> instead of <laughs> that sounded almost <laughs> like an ultrasound you know when you're at the dark thing. is an ultrasound that thing where you have to lay still for a really long time yes the, the noise should be just Donald Duck just <laughs> it's my best Donald Duck <laughs> I liked how, we can talk costuming a bit, at the end, how the doctor gave Barbara a suit that somehow perfectly fits her from his own wardrobe. (laughs) They're basically the same size, I think. Maybe, yeah. Eh. Sort of. Then they go out in the snow. (laughs) Really big. Parka. What, they're Snuggies? (laughs) At the very end, when they went out into the snow. Oh, Oh yeah, he he. They have that whole discussion between the doctor and Ian about about their clothes, or was that about clothes? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That was the. That was weird. Why was that in me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why was that in there? <laughs> Just oh crap, guys! The episode's only twenty minutes long. We have to fill out the next three minutes. <laughs> no, it, the first episode was twenty-five minutes and four seconds, and the second was twenty-two and eleven. It's not that they even needed to fill up any time in the second episode. It was already shorter. Maybe they just added it in for the heck of it. Apparently, a reviewer from io9 says it's a good episode for new viewers to watch, describing it as a quick hit and still just as intense as it was 48 years ago. But if you're going to start with this <clears throat> serial, why would you... Why would you do that? Because yeah. there's only like 13 episodes before this, or 11, or 11. something. It was 11. Uh, yeah, why would... You, I don't see any reason to start with this. Because, in my opinion, Daleks and the Cavemen serials were both better. Right. And Susan doesn't try and stab anyone! <laughs> right, I think if you if you started with this one, you'd get the wrong impression that Susan is just out to kill everybody. And Ian... Yeah. <laughs> and that Barbara's just a mopey wimp. She is anyway, but... Well, no, I mean... I'd get a better impression of Barbara if I watched this first. In, Maybe. in fact, if I watched this serial first, I'd only like Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> the I exact opposite of everything yeah. leading up to this point. Yep. It wasn't actually that out of character for the Doctor to, uh, to well, suspect Ian and uh, Barbara. It was out of character for how energetic he was about it because you remember in the first episode he was kind of mysterious <laughs> trying to tell them that they wouldn't understand whereas in this episode he was like you sabotaged you yeah i guess like, after even all after everything through. ian and barbara had done for him in the previous episode where he faked them out and made them go into the city and then all of a sudden for him just to turn around and be like yo man you sabotaged this yeah that's actually Get not off. cool now that i think about it not cool doctor not cool which is probably why barbara was so upset forever yeah that's true. I'm that guessing Ian sense, was no. okay with it probably because of the previous things he had said to the Doctor. Yeah. And going against the Doctor's wishes before, he probably... Maybe Ian felt like the Doctor was justified, at least in blaming him mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, it makes sense. Which would, yeah, explain why Ian didn't take it so hardly as Barbara. Oh, man, yep. there was a thing I wanted to mention in this episode that I found out what the Doctor's hat from the first episode was called, but now I forgot. It started with a K. It did start with a K. Camino. No! Kashyyyk. No! 
<laughs> it's from Afghanistan, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was from Afghanistan. Don't wait. I'll look it up. We have technology. The first. We doctor. have computers. Oh, oh, the first doctor. We're using an Apple II computer. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> using an, an like one of those IBM computers that take up an entire room. A punch <laughs> card computer. <laughs> punch card. <laughs> That we somehow plugged mics into. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very advanced punch card computer. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Stall the Tardis. Blah, blah, blah. Time Lord Academy. Blah, Time blah, Lord blah. Academy? What? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, Beautiful. the doctor went to Time Lord Academy? Apparently. That's a thing? I don't know. It teaches you how to become a Time Lord? I don't know. It's the weird. doctor steals a Tardis. Oh, well, look. It... Oh, okay. Skip all this interesting stuff and get to the part where it tells you where his hat's what his hat's called. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. The reason why he stole it is explained in the 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 Christmas special that just aired. What was it? Two months ago now. Oh. Guess we'll have to wait four years for that. <laughs> yep. Uh, do 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 do. Living on Earth, almost there. Meeting do, Ian do, and Barbara do, early. Do, okay, it's here somewhere. What? Wait a minute, there's an entire page on the doctor's hats. Why don't I just go to that? <laughs> what? Obsessed fans, man. Obsessed fans. <clears throat> oh, here we go. The first doctor's usual hat of choice was a Karakul or Astrakhan. Astrocon. Triangular hat often that associated like with Afghanistan. The astronomy convention. Or, what, or what one account called an oddly shaped fur hat. It, to me, it looked like a fez with an indent in it. Uh, you can spell it K A R A K U L. Or A S T R A K H A N. Like con. Astrocon. Con! What's that from? Oh yeah, you haven't seen Star Trek 2, have you? No. Wrath of Khan? I haven't seen any Star Trek movies. Right. Well, that's a reference only the fans of this podcast will get, I suppose. Star Trek's on our list, though. You'll understand later. What is going on now? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we going insane? No. No? No. I think the first sign of going insane is denying that you've gone insane. And everyone's insane. Only the people who deny it. This the episode people... has been one really long <laughs> tangent. <laughs> Not even. It was a bunch of mini tangents that were barely related. Related by the, uh, by the episode <clears> that <throat> The was... episode that had nothing to... in it. Yeah. That's... The episode with nothing in it. <laughs> But describes this episode of our podcast and the two episodes we watched. <laughs> uh, I hope we don't lose fans because of this episode. <laughs> Are we done? I think we're done. I think we're done. We're done. So next, next week, week, we're watching a reconstruction by Loose Cannon. Is the Company slash group of fans slash I'm not really sure. Oh, it was reconstructed it by like a by yeah, fans. It, yeah, it wasn't an official reconstruction by BBC, but it's been no. included on the DVDs because I guess BBC is lazy. Well, BBC has been contracting this animation studio to reanimate two episode two episodes every year. So, it's like to animate episodes that they're missing because uh-huh. you know they've got yeah. the audio tracks and that's how we're watching the reconstruction. Like the reconstruction we're watching is like I showed you the audio track and then. Yeah, and then pictures. Pictures just... of the episode taken on set. Yeah. With Ian on examines screen... the prints. <laughs> With on-screen <laughs> stage directions, I guess. <laughs> to explain what's happening. Kind of like an audio drama. With some pictures. Right. But yeah, the, the BBC's been animating episodes. Like, when we get to the final yeah. serial of this season, there's two animated episodes in there to replace the two that they're missing. Yeah. <clears> I, don't, <throat> I don't mind the reconstruction, personally. At least it's in color. So we'll oh, see yeah. things. Some of the pictures are in color. Most of, most of them are probably going to be in color. Color photography was pretty widely used in the 60s. 
That's that's a fact. I've done History Day projects. I need pictures. There's color pictures in 63. Okay, next week we're watching that. Yeah. With, mm. with a very badly planned out week. <laughs> Schedules. How do they work? <clears throat> okay, we're done. The end. Uh, 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 uh,